but this is a, uh, a nice easy trip for this pair here this weekend, just drive a bit of an hour south and we're at the track so they'll be enjoying the uh, relaxation that, that he's afforded when you live locally. Yeah, and of course, uh, that's right, mate. We try and spread the round uh, around the country, uh, and so there's a few drivers that have got home tracks. So, um, you know, we're looking at uh, the likes of Glenn, uh, Glenn Head and Hayley Todd's, their home track. Uh, we've got Ollie Silden's home track. Uh, and also, um, of course, uh, the Beaver Relievers home track as well. So, And don't forget you know, Sam Newdick after coming back from being out for a while. He's got the new engine sorted out. So, because uh, uh, Sam was B-driving Glen Head's boat last weekend, great to see Sam's got the engine back and sorted for the PSP team down there. Not a bad run here for Betsy and Jojo. Yeah, they'll be happy with that. 53.843, great time for the Violent Tendencies machine. And uh, they will go well most of the day too, I reckon. Uh, of course, it's a uh, going to be a good run into the um, the top nine. Of course, we've got five qualifying rounds and then we go into a, a top nine, top six, top three. Uh, and so, uh, KV, I reckon for me, my money is going to be on uh, the fight for the top six, obviously, because as we well know, mate, nine doesn't go into six. No, apparently not. No, well, I'm, right. not I'm no mathematician, but no, I certainly agree with you. Interestingly, this is uh, Stuart Latham coming out on track now, and Kendra Death doing the navigational duties. Stewie Latham hasn't been behind the wheel of a boat for a couple of years. The man originally from Western Australia, working in New Zealand now, making New Zealand his home for Heron Construction. And it's great to see Stewie finally uh, get this boat back together again. He's quite happy with the power it's producing. He's done a lot of work, but uh, he had a big crash down there in Wanganui. And James Hayden, if you're uh, having a look on the live stream, made a big shout out to you. So Stewie had a, uh, quite a big crash down there in Wanganui a couple of years ago. Uh, it's just taken a little bit of time for him to get back out on the water. And you would sort of think that a man who hasn't been on the racetrack for all that two years, he's looking pretty good out there at the moment. That's right, mate. And of course, don't be surprised to see this boat on the water uh, a couple of uh, a couple of times today because we've got uh, double driving the boat. Of course, Paddy and Jay Hayden. Now, talking to Paddy uh, on the way into the oh, sorry to, at the track here last night. Of course, we know it's Valentine's Day yesterday, and uh, I said to Paddy, I said, mate. Great to be back behind the wheel. Yeah, yeah, great, Sammy. That's really good. I see you've got your lovely, uh, lovely Jay beside you. He says, "Yeah, Valentine's Day present." I said, "Oh, did you get her a good one?" He goes, "Yeah, yeah, riding the boat tomorrow." <laughs> Typical fatty. Eh? I he's, tell you, he's he's, he always character. a jokester, mate. And also, um, yeah. So these guys, like I say, double drive. So um, we, we want to make sure that the boat stays in pristine condition for both of them, so they get a good crack at it, mate. But the only people that can uh, make that happen is the people behind the wheel, right? Well. And indeed the navigational team, because if they get sent the wrong way, oh geez, I'll tell you, there'll be an argument. That's so right. So Rick Flowerday and Jazz Flowerday coming up now. They're qualifying at round number two, Group A. Early days here at the NZ Merry Merry Sprint Bowl. Tell you what though, KV, cast your eyes across, uh, across the track up onto the hill, mate. There's starting to be a good crowd building even, you know. We've got uh, a lot of, oh, about four or five gazebos up already, a couple of tents. Some kids hanging around. Mate, I think we're in for a rip snort of a day today. It is going to be a cracker, don't worry about that. And uh, Rick Flower Day just easing through this uh, qualifying round number one, not trying to break the boat, just taking it very, very easy indeed. Just getting his eye in. Yeah, there's been a couple of cautious runs uh, qualifying too, you know, so they all get out on the track for, for the first round. Like you say, they tweak. Of course, they've got five rounds to tweak. Uh, and then that's when the next one counts, right? They've really got to make that uh, that run in the top nine a goodie. But to get to that top nine, they've got to make sure they're happy with how the boat's going. And of course, when you only get five runs, and of course, you don't have to take all five. If you're happy, you know, after pole three, you can just sit on the trailer until the top nine, right? So. And Xboxes, you can, you can play the Xbox and play all the car games. Yes. You never used to be able to play sprint boats on the Xbox. Right. There's one out. Is there really? Yep. Have you on it? Are you on it? V8 Sprint Xbox. And apparently you don't need the cartridges. You can actually just, I don't know, it's a computer-generated thing, and you just hit the thing and then the, and the game comes starts. Up and and you yeah, play the so thing. You, you yeah. pay it. And so there's actually, uh, I think there's uh, five tracks around the world. You can play the championship. A lot of boats Ooh. that we see around the world have been sticking up uh, beautifully. 
So uh, that's from Mad Cowie Productions over in the UK. The guy's never ever seen jet spreading, developed the game and done a fantastic job of it. So Xbox One, ladies and gentlemen. Did you um, did you get the call for the voiceover, the commentary? I, I, uh... Yeah, I did that last oh. year, mate. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, you weren't there. Oh. I, I couldn't see you. Oh, OK. You were out training. No, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. I'll, I'll get my own water. It's fine. <laughs> so Bevan and Claudia Edwards out on track. So these guys had an off down at Wanaka last round. Claudia taken to hospital for observation and uh, just had a little bit of whiplash, but just goes to show the safety aspects of the sport and patient care, absolutely paramount. So uh, Claudia came back to join the festivities at the end of it. They just wanted to check her over a little bit there. So uh, s &R builds Grain Hub and PGG Wrightsons, the supporters on this vessel. Don't forget about Westview Aluminium Rick Flower Day, 52.214. That's a great run. Hey, that, and that's a great confidence booster too, to, uh, you know, to have a, a whoopsie like that and then come back and to be in the very next round back in the Navvies chair. So great confidence for, uh, for Bevan and Claudia there too. So, you know, she looked there when we caught up with them last night. Big smile on her face and happy to be back in the boat. So go 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 well then. Well, as they say, got to get back on the horse, don't you? Exactly right, mate. Exactly right. That's why I always turn up to work with you. <laughs> Beauty. I'll leave that alone. <laughs> Tony Reid, Andrew Bakey. Uh, these guys out of Whitra have not uh, done a lot of racing this season. Uh, certainly didn't get down to uh, Wanaka. We didn't see them at Wanganui. Did see them at Featherston. However, we will see what they can do here at the NZ Sprint Bowl. Merry, merry for Drillco Tony Reid. Always a crowd favourite too, as, uh, as our Uncle Tony. Tony Reid and Andrew Bakey out there on track doing it, uh, doing it easy at the moment as they hit through the centre of the track, bouncing through there. Oh, this is pretty smooth run so far from these guys as they come round the, uh, the Lucas Alls corner there. Back up the straight. Big sweeper. They're looking good here, KB. Yeah, Tony Reid and Andrew Bakey been around, Tony Reid's been around the sport a number of years, only come back in the last few years and really enjoying it, looking to step up to Unlimited next year. So Tony Reid there with a 51.773, yeah, so Tony Reid uh, just currently building an Unlimited Superboat engine for next year that'll be uh, bolted into this hull as well. So Fantastic. he came back to the sport, he was away for uh, I think about 20 years or something along those lines and ended up buying the boat that he sold 20 years earlier. <laughs> Far out. Yeah, so uh, really, you know, and then he started in the Group B, he's moved up to the Group A, and next year he's uh, looking to go unlimited. So it'll be Clayton and Mandy Tisdall here. They've got the uh, head racing engine that uh, Glenn Head has put in the back of that one. They say it's got plenty of power. We're not, not allowed to give away the, uh, the figures, um, but they say it's a very, very fast Group A engine, so it'll be interesting to see how Clayton and Mandy deal with this here today. Very cautious run they had in Qual 1, mate, because he'd only had it in the, uh, only had 10 minutes of testing time in the river before that, but uh, as you can see by the start of this rotation, folks, they are leaving nothing out on the water and uh, really giving it some juice as they head down the back of the track. He went really wide around that corner down the bottom there uh, in the first qualifying run as well. He's done it a second time. I thought he might have overdriven it in there in Q1, but it seems to be that's the line he wants to take. That's right, mate. And you watch as it comes back round. Like you said, KB, to pick up this uh, this island that hides the turn, of course, they've got to come back towards the commentary box when they come round again. So just look for that. That's the bit that seems to be catching everybody out as he hits round... Uh, the commentary corner now. Slide back through the middle of the course. Here it comes, gonna take this turn. Oh, perfect, he's done it this time. Bounces through there, and this is gonna be a great time. 51.482, and uh, they would have gone back to the uh, the pits after qual one. Mandy would have given him a bit of a talking to, and uh, now he, uh, I bet he doesn't get that wrong for the rest of the day. Yeah, the, um, the bounce coming out of here, there was a bit of a hesitation in about two thirds of the way into the lap. But uh, 
Well, it's going to be a pretty exciting day. Elite Kitchens with Sean and Faye Rice. So we've got the NZ Sprint Bowl up the right-hand side of the course from commentary, the left from the other side of the track. And we've got the PSP back straight down there. Lucas Oil's down the bottom uh, down the bottom to our left, mate. You know I'm never going to remember that, mate. That's all right. We'll just get, we'll get through it as the day wears on, mate. I'll tell you what, this so air conditioning got, up here is pretty good, yeah, mate. It's not bad at all. I just turned it on. <laughs> so, uh, and we've also got the mouth fresh front shoot down here as well. Oh, OK. So, Sean and Bay Rice, Elite Kitchens, these guys are sending a second boat over to Australia to compete in Australia for the Australian National Championship. The first round will be held there in Tamora, New South Wales on the 29th of February. So you have to be in Oz, shoot up or down to Tamora, a couple of hours north of Wagga there, and check out round one of the Australian Jet Sprint Series. Sean and Bay Rice are going to feature there. And I'll tell you, the way they've been driving, they'll give, uh, well, they'll give the boys at home a bit of a run for their money, I think. Yeah, well, mate, and, and look, it's an absolutely fantastic boat. It's always shiny. And, of course, down there at lunchtime uh, in the break, you can get down to the Elite Kitchen's tent, grab a poster, they'll sign it for you even. Lovely people, really easy to talk to, and uh, really happy for you to have a look at the boat as well. So, as are most of the drivers, of course, folks, so... Uh, Remember in the uh, in the lunch break to uh, to get down there and have a look. Great time of 47.108 too. So they'll be pretty happy with that when they head back to the pits. There's a little bit of a uh, little bit of wind just picking up here coming in from uh, coming in from the south. So it's blowing right through our gazebo here. So it's all hands on deck to hold down the paper. But that's okay. We'll deal with that. Uh, if it gets too much, I'll just tell Kavi to lie on the table and uh, we can commentate like that. So. Holding all the paperwork down, I don't know if the table's strong enough, but Ross <laughs> Travers of Manda Kiddo out on track at the moment. And Ross Travers, second in the world in the Group A category. Man, that's, so. uh, that's an achievement. So, uh, yeah, no, all the way from uh, Wonga, Vegas, uh, and of course Amanda Kiddo comes from uh, up my way, Tikakino, is a farm worker up there, so uh, actually uh, convoyed with uh, Super Mario yesterday on the way up. And uh, we stopped and had a bite to eat in, uh, in Tokoroa. So, uh, yeah, no, really good. Um, really good. He's feeling pretty relaxed out there today. Caught up with the team in the tent uh, prior to racing. And they're all, uh, they're all cool, calm and collected and nice and relaxed. So uh, they should go well. Yeah, Ross Travers, uncharacteristically. A little bit of washing to that final right hand at going through the finish loop there. 47021. We'll see that come into play. Some of those guys will be able to deal with that wash. But also Ross Travers just a little bit knifey into that corner, a little bit heavy on the steering wheel. So that'll be something that Ross Travers will be trying to smooth out indeed. Each and every one of our drivers, Ollie Silverton, reigning world champion, reigning New Zealand champion. Jess Sitt doing the navigational duties, of course, for uh, PSP, draining systems, biolytics and GJ Gardner Homes. Currently leading the uh, the series too for Group A, Ollie and Jess. Now, of course, we must uh, say that uh, Cy Gibbon, as we touched on before, and Donna Thompson not pairing up today. So... Do you think, KV, that he will feel, because Cy Gibb and Neil Marshall too, uh, yep. old real deal Neil, is, uh, is not here as well. So Cy Gibbon could feel a little bit relaxed going into this, but then he's got to realise that there's two more snapping at his heels to try and take their place as well. So watch out, folks. This will be well uh, hotly contested uh, as Ollie Silverton and Jess Sitt, the PSP racing team, uh, 1NZ, get out there on track at the moment. So, Cy, given the way that the series is running this year, it's a six-round series, you have an ability. Oh, what has gone on to Ollie Silverton? Is that, that is a problem with the boat. So, uh, something going wrong with the PSP. Ollie Silverton's got his hand up waiting for uh, the rescue crew to attend to him. They'll have to bring Tim Betts back in onto the trailer. The wind just howling at the moment. If you can hear that through the uh, speakers, we do apologise. But, uh, well, Ollie Silverton, that is not good to see. So, as I was saying, it's a six-round series here for PSP in this season. But it is the best of 
five. So you can take, you can drop your worst round, and that is how the national championship will be determined. That's right. So it was a uh, so a side yeah. given taking the weekend off. It just puts the pressure on him for the final two That's rounds. That's right. That's right. So he can't afford not to. Uh, to he's got to get out there. So it's uh, yeah. We just get. Uh, Ollie and Jess uh, off the track, that's all good, they're all okay and uh, looks to be boat issues, not, uh, nothing wrong with the crew, so we've got uh, Tim Coleman and uh, Dylan Matthews out on track in the Violent Tendencies machine, just cautiously going through uh, qualifying two here, KV, they, uh, they bounced around okay in the first round, but uh, like I say, you know, we've got five rounds to get it, you want to start getting better about qualifying three or four and then hit five uh, where, the, where the money's at. Yeah, hit the ground running, as so they say, but Tim Coleman and Dylan Matthews, these guys, uh, well, I'll tell you, very talented in many rights. So uh, Tim Coleman, he's a musician occasionally. You go to his Facebook page and he's sitting there playing a tune or, you know, he's a marathon runner. These guys do all sorts of stuff to pair of them and you're sitting there and go, where, where do you get the energy for that? But they're young, I guess. Mate, I might, uh, as soon as the boat's coming on, let's jump, jump down and see if we can pick up some info from uh, what happened to Ollie and Jess, mate. Stand by. Fantastic. All right. So uh, that was Tim Coleman, Dylan Matthews, 55.765. Ollie Silverton got the head scratch there in the GJ Gardner Sun Tough PSP building brands vessel in the Group A. So the next boat coming out will be Paddy and Jay Hayden, the B drivers of Chaos, the Heron Construction Ryko vessel coming out onto track now. Paddy Hayden, uh, we haven't seen him behind the wheel so far this season. He's uh, just resting his unlimited superboat. Stewie Latham said, Paddy, why don't you come out and have a B drive with me today so that we can get a bit of data into this engine and the package and get it sorted a little bit earlier. So here is Paddy and Jay Hayden from TA Locals. So Paddy Hayden is a former New Zealand champion in the Group B category. Stepped up to Unlimited last year, has taken the first half of this year off and now driving this uh, Ryko Heron construction machine. So Paddy and Jay looking pretty good out there at the moment. Up the back through the PSP, back straight into the NZ Speed Bowl. Later part of the lap here to the other side of the course. Oh, the big back off to set it up there. I thought something had gone wrong with the boat, but Paddy Hayden, 48.648. They'll be stoked with that one. Yeah, the big back off, you heard that, just coming into that final right hander there, ladies and gentlemen. I really thought that something may have gone awry in the boat, but Paddy Hayden new into this vessel, maybe just hasn't worked out that throttle position just quite right at the moment. Those stairs are pretty good to get up to, mate. Hey, just while we've got a quick break there, We're heading into Group A. Mate, you just had a quick uh, chat to Ollie Silverland. What's the outcome? Yeah, mate, he couldn't get on the mic. He was too busy to get back to boat, so we respect that. But. Uh